Spectra Flow version 2.2, we've introduced a couple of new reference control QC features for you. So I'm going to walk you through how those work. First, I've made an experiment here where I've recorded a reference group. Everything here is beads just for the sake of demonstration. I've got unstained beads, Fitzy single stained beads, PE beads, and APC beads. Now that my controls are all recorded, I can click Unmix. I'm going to click Next so I can start placing my gates on my beads. I've already positioned my P1 gate previously, and my positives are all on the positive beads. Let me move the unstained P1 gate into place. Okay, so now I can see all the spectra for my dies. I'm going to click Next to go to the new area we've introduced called QC Controls. First, in the Spectral Profile tab, the software will overlay the die that you ran today with a benchmark die that the administrator has stored in the system. So if I look here at this Fitzy control, I can see that the two dies overlay pretty well. In addition to getting a visual, we also present something called a similarity index. It's on a scale from 0 to 1, and the closer you are to 1, the better the match with the die you're comparing against. If that number is close to 0, then those two dies look nothing alike. So for these three controls, where I've run a Fitzy, a PE, and an APC, they compare quite well to the benchmarks I've stored in the system. The other tool that's provided is called a similarity matrix. It presents this picture here, where each die is presented against the other to give you a color coding for its similarity, and you can view that by clicking View Similarity Index to see the actual numbers. So for Fitzy and PE, they got a similarity index score of 0 0.06, so they're very dissimilar. And Fitzy and APC are completely different. They got a score of zero. Then we give you this other number at the bottom called the complexity index. It's a relative number. The lower, the better. Lower numbers mean there's going to be less spread in your panel with the dyes that you've chosen. So keep this number in mind here for this three color Fitzy, PE, and APC panel we got a score of 1.41. Now let's go look at another experiment that I've created. I'm gonna close out of this one. We'll save it. Now I have this other experiment where I changed one of the controls where I recorded the wrong die. So even though I have the same Fitzy, PE, and APC, turns out the user recorded one of the incorrect dies into one of those controls. Let's take a look by clicking the Unmix button. I'll click Next so I can place my gates again. And you can see already for this APC control, the software placed my gate on the R1 channel, which is where APC should peak, but there's no signal in this particular tube. I'm going to go ahead and move the bars here to a different plot. So I'll have a different plot displaying on this histogram. And I can see this die actually has a lot of signal in B1, B2, B3. It doesn't really look like APC. I'm going to click Next to see what the QC controls has to say. When I look at my spectral profile overlays, where the control I ran today is compared against the benchmark control, I see again that for Fitzy, the overlays are pretty close and I got a very high similarity index score. Same for PE. But when I look at this APC tube, I can see visually these two spectra are very, very different, and the similarity index is also very low so low that the software has flagged it that this control might not be the right one for your sample. Which indeed it isn't. This is clearly not an APC in black here. This looks more like, say, Brilliant Blue 515.